Please be seated. A silver jubilee has a special significance in the life of any institution as it signifies a coming of age and maturity. It's a time to pause and reflect on all the good work done. The academic year 2022-23 is a rejoicing year for Chawra Public School. Yes, we have completed 25 years of service providing opportunities to the students to experience the subtle abstraction and inherent beauties of life by participating in various curricular and co-curricular activities. Many memorable events are chartered for the Silver Jubilee celebrations of our school. As a curtain raiser, we have the inaugural ceremony blessed with the noble presence of the dignitaries of the days. We will start our day's events seeking blessings of Lord Almighty. Kindly rise for the prayer song. I feel proud to stand before this August gallery to welcome all of you to the 25th Jubilee celebrations of Chavara Public School, Para. It was a great dream of St. Kuryakos Elias Chavara that the generations should receive quality education. And he believed it so firmly that the society can grow only with educated citizens. That was the reason why St. Kuryakos Chavara insisted that we should start schools which will impart knowledge for life irrespective of caste, creed, religion and political beliefs. Inspired by this great visionary saint, the CMI priests have started educational institutions thousands of educational institutions all over the country and is playing a vital role in shaping the destiny of a nation. 25 years ago, when the, C the, when the visionary CMI priest under the leadership of Father Sebastian Ilanikel decided to start a school, a CBC school in Pala, the intention was the same, to continue the same colorful dreams of our founder, St. Kuriya Chavara. And today, we all are proud that our school continue to inspire the young minds to fly high above the skies. With a student strength of 4,000. And uh, as we know, only one-fourth of our students' community is present here because 
of the uh, space limitation. With a student strength of 4,000 and with remarkable academic achievements, we have set the benchmark for other institutions. Today, our joy is multiplied when the Honorable Governor of Kerala, Sri Arif Muhammad Khan, is here with us today to officially inaugurate the Silver Jubilee celebrations of Chavara Public School, Pala. He is a man with strong convictions and values. He, from his young age onwards, was a true visionary leader and, was, and has held many responsible positions, including the member of Legislative Assembly of Uttar Pradesh, member of Parliament in Lok Sabha, Deputy Minister for Information and Broadcasting, State Minister of Agriculture, Energy and Home Affairs, Cabinet Minister of Energy and Civil Aviation, and many more. When I visited Honorable Governor at Raj Bhavan to invite Honorable Governor to this function, I was really astonished to see his hospitality and humility to spend almost half an hour with us. Honorable Governor, we are fortunate and blessed by your inspiring presence. On behalf of all our students, teachers and parents, I wholeheartedly welcome Honorable Governor of Kerala, Sri Ari Muhammad Khan, to this stage. As we all know, he was an international volleyball player, a film actor and a producer with many hit movies. He is always a great supporter of all the activities of our school and is available and easily approachable with a smiling face to everybody. Dear Manisha, on behalf of all gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to you. Father Gosputi Padiyana Pidi, our manager, was the former provincial of our province and was the long time principal of the most prestigious Kustu Jayanti College, Bangalore. Hearty welcome to you, dear Father Manager. <laughs> Father Sebastian Iranjikel is the founder principal of Chavara Public School and the mastermind behind the idea of starting a school in the campus. Currently, he is the principal of Christ School, Bangalore. He also was the provincial of St. Joseph's Province Courtyard. A hearty welcome to the visionary leader, Father Sebastian Iradhika, to this country. <laughs> Chavara campus can never forget the name of Father Matthew Perithara, the previous principal. He served this campus as a boarding director, administrator and the principal for a long time. With the, with, while acknowledging all his contributions for the growth of this campus, we wholeheartedly welcome Father Matthew to this function. <laughs> Dr. Srinivas Skaria is our PGA Vice President and a renowned medical practitioner, practitioner at uh, Marian, Medic, Marian Hospital, Pala. She is uh, representing the ever-supportive parent community of our school. Hearty welcome to our Vice President, PTA Vice President, Dr. Srinivas. I gratefully acknowledge the valuable services of our PTA executive team under the leadership of our PTA President Advocate Jody Kutikat and Vice, Vice President Dr. Sheena and a hearty welcome to all the representatives of PTA. Thank you. Hearty welcome. Hearty <laughs> hearty welcome to the media team, police officers and officers from Dajbhavan. The glory and the face of uh, Chavara is our 300 plus teaching and non-teaching faculty and 4,000 student community. As I mentioned earlier, only one-fourth of the students community is present here. But they are the face and glory of our school. So, hearty welcome to all our students to this function. Once again, welcoming all of you to this function, I remain, thank you, God bless. Thank you, Father, for those warm words and welcome. Strong leader.
leadership is the key factor of the success of any institution. And without Reverend Father Matthew Kiritra CMI, our former principal, this success would not have been possible for our school. He had adorned the chair of the principal from 2011 to 2020. May I have the honor of inviting Reverend Father Matthew Kiritra CMI for the felicitation. Honorable Governor of Kerala, Sri Arif Muhammad Khan, the Chief Guest of today's function, Sri Manisi Kapan MLA, the President of the function, the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, their parents, teachers, friends, well wishers, and my dear child rights. Sri Ryatan Tata once said, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, walk together. The 25 years of the history of Chavara Public School Pala is the story of a walking together. The walking together of the CMI community along with a bunch of dedicated teachers a galaxy of brilliant students and an ever supportive parent community and the local and the extended community at large. 25 years may not always be a big time in the history of an institution. But in the case of Chavra School, the growth and the transformation over the last 25 years have been truly phenomenal. From the status of a small CBSE school started in 1998 to the present status of a great center of learning with an impeccable infrastructure, a quality teaching learning culture, excellent results, a galaxy of alumni with their achievements and accomplishments in academics and life speaks volumes for what Chavra Public School is. Chavra Public School has taught the generations the values we cherish, the value of integrity, the value of hard work, the value of teamwork, of encouragement and the value of growing together. The sweat and the toil, the goodwill and the magnanimity, the perseverance and persistence, the passion and purpose, the prayers and tears, the soul searching and heart rendering of many a soul has been instrumental in making Chavara what it is today. I wish to place on record my great admiration and appreciation for the CMI fraternity, our fathers who spend their days and nights, vigor and vitality in building up this institution from scratches to what it is today. It is apt to remember and thank all our managers starting with Father Aloysius Pudiyavarambi to the present manager, Reverend Father Joseph Uti Padinara Pedida. All our principals, starting with our founder principal, Father Sebastian Ilanikel CMI, with whom I was fortunate to work from the very beginning of the school, to the present principal and my soulmate, Father Sabu Kodapat CMI. All our teachers and non teaching staff members, the PTA committees, the parents, the well-wishers, the friends, the community at Pala and community all around and most importantly all the dear child rights. I also wish to remember and pray for those noble souls that left us for eternity. Father Thomas Nambimadam CMI, Father Joseph Ayatimadam CMI, the former managers and Father Sergeant Akhamitapalli, the former <coughs> principal and Mrs. Rosama Michael our uh, first teacher. On a personal note, and I am very happy, thrilled and proud to be part of Chavara 
for 16 years out of the 25 years of his existence in various capacities and as the principal for 10 years from 2010 to 2020. And I have learned and grown along with my teachers and along with my students. Chavara is a dream. Chavara is a vision. Chavara is a passion. Chavara is a prospect and it is a possibility. Let this dream grow bigger and bigger in the days to come. Let this vision encompass the whole humanity to renew itself. Let the passion grow beyond boundaries and encourage the generations to come to be the real germs of our motherland. Let Chavara as a possibility be a channel for many to be the window to the future. As our motto proclaims, let's aspire more and let's achieve more. Let this Silver Jubilee celebrations be a reminder for all of us to do more, to be more and to become more in the footsteps of our patron, Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavra. God bless us all and God bless Chavra. Thank you. Thank you, Father Nati, for those wonderful words. The support and guidance provided by Reverend Father Joseph Uti Padinari Priga CMI is beyond words. He is our manager, the superior at St. Vincent Ministry, and above all, a person with pleasant disposition. He has been a great motivational force in all our ventures. Definitely a good shepherd. May I humbly request Reverend Father Joseph Uti Padinari Priga CMI to address the gathering. Father, please. Honorable Governor of our state, Sri Arif Mohammed Khan, the Chief Guest of the Day, respected MLA of our constituency, Sri Mani C. Kapen, the President of the meeting, Reverend Father Sabu Kodapa, Principal of Chavara Public School, respected dignitaries on the dais and of the dais, teachers, Parents, members of the administrative staff, invitees, and my dear Chavarites. With immense joy and gratitude, I acknowledge your dynamic role in the growth of Chavara Public School during the past 25 years, and I wish you jubilee greetings on this momentous occasion. True to his vision, Chavara Public School serves as a grooming center for children to emerge as global leaders who envision to emerge as global leaders a better and safer universe. With its core values, faith in God, love of humanity and integrity, the school inspires the young minds to aspire and achieve. Driven by the education vision of St. Kuriyako Siliyas Chavara, the founder of CMI, Carmelites of Mary Immaculate Congregation, and guided by the educational trust and guidelines of state and nation, Chavara Public School has become a lamb that ignited the minds of young children to dream big and make a significant mark in the society over the past 25 years. The Greek philosopher Aristotle articulated the goal of education aptly. I quote, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. I unquote, Chavara Public School is a place to realize the full potential of the human capabilities seal and enterprise. Its commitment towards the holistic development of children, relentless support to realize their dreams, and assiduous dedication to transform the society have reaped their bountiful harvest. The founder of CMI congregation, St. Kuriyako Silias Chavara, was a pioneer in the transformation of society through holistic education. He always reminded, I quote, 
the day in which you have not done any good to your fellow humans will not be remembered in the book of your life and court the four pillars of teaching and learning process namely knowledge skills values attitude imparted in chavara public school have played an indelible role in the formation of socially responsible citizens of our nation the teaching and learning process has not just provided holistic education but has educated the hearts by nurturing the right attitude for a bright future the school has risen to the present glory within a short span of time due to the vision planning dedication and commitment of a number of people during the past 25 years i take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one who has made this temple of learning a real center for excellence i gratefully remember with gratitude the guidance and support and inspiration being extended by all the provincials and their team of counselors and especially the present provincial father george adayadil and the present provincial council for education father josh kutti aikir parambil and their team of counselors all the priests and members of st vincent monastery pala i also appreciate very much the dedicated leadership of all the principals vice principals administrators headmasters and headmistresses boarding directors especially reverend father sabu kodappa the present dynamic principal of our school and reverend father bastin mangalath vice principal and administrator Mr Tom B Jones headmaster Miss Elizabeth B headmistress Miss Alice Jones headmistress Heidi Sachin and Reverend Father George Kurichia Parambil director of hostels with gratitude i remember the committed and dedicated services of all dynamic teachers of Chavara Public School administrative and support staff and the great support and inspiration extended by all the parents of the school and all the executive members of pta the state and government leaders cbc board the municipality of pala belvishes and the neighborhood community i gratefully acknowledge the dynamism creativity enthusiasm and team work of all the chavarais the student community for the present students and the alumni who always made this campus vibrant and also known to the world at large i express my sincere gratitude to our honorable governor sri arif mohammed khan for his inspiring and loving presence amidst us for the inauguration of silver jubilee celebration of our school as we celebrate the silver jubilee celebration of chavara public school let us thank almighty god for all his blessings and rededicate ourselves to take our school to further heights in the coming decades once again wishing you all the greetings of silver jubilee of our school i remain thank you very much Thank you, Father. Good order is the foundation of all successful things. The loftier the building, the deeper must be the foundation laid. The strong foundation of our school has been laid by our founder principal, Reverend Father Sebastian Ilanipal C M I, who had been the principal of our school from the year 1998 to 2004. The visits of this personality always radiates positive vibes. in the staff and students of chavra public school may i humbly request reverend father sebastian ilanjipal cmi to deliver the keynote address father please honorable governor sri ari pomar khan the chief guest of this august assembly respected mla sri manish kapan 
respected manager, dear principal, the dignitaries on and off the stage, the proud parents of this proud institution, dear Chavarais, heartfelt jubilee greetings to each one of you. I deem it a great and proud privilege and very present duty to be a part of this great and youthful exuberance of Silver Jubilee celebrations. For me, every coming to Chavara is a homecoming and every visit in this campus is as lively as a recharging of the positive energy left over here in this part. Every meeting with the friends is a rejuvenating experience of those good old days spent here. It brings in nostalgia mixed with the satisfaction and ecstasy of the systematic and directed, directed growth from the humble beginning of the laying of the foundation stone on March 19, 1998 and the solemn inauguration of the first building by Honorable Governor of that time, Justice Sukadev Singh on August 28, 1999. Twenty-five years have passed. About 50,000 students have trolled out through this spot. The number of the happy beneficiary parents would be around one lakh. Hundreds of teachers have invested their life and time in this great mission. The management has left no stone unturned for the smooth and effective formation of the young minds that leads to real transformation which was our avowed motto in the initial years, transformation through formation. God has been ever gracious and benevolent to us this family for which I believe Saint Chavra intercedes before God unceasingly. That's why Chavara Public School could march on steadily through successful course of events all throughout these years. As we bow down before God Almighty for all His ineffable gifts and marvelous grace shower on us, <coughs> its stakeholders, it's the time to remember with deep sentiments of gratitude and love the support and efforts that the members of St. Vincent Monastery had put in to make this dream come true and the hearty service of the parent community and the leaders of this local community. Chara is ever indebted to acknowledge and sincerely thank Reverend Father Aloysius Pudia Parambi and Father the first manager and Father James the Berser during the, its initial years because they have been a part of making it what it is today. We are gratefully indebted to the first batch of teaching community, the trailblazers who carved a niche in the solid tradition which makes Chavara what it is today. The lovely service the supporting staff and the lively presence of students who made our life and mission meaningful. The unique bunch of caring and supporting parents, parent community with its vibrant, enthusiastic PTA. The parent social club, which was the first of that sort as an initiative. Many of the members and faces are visible here and they are happy about. And the directed and dedicated principals who led the way all together made this journey possible and successful in the 25 years. Chavara School has been unique and prestigious place in history to be the first school in the name of St. Chavara, the reformist educational luminary of the 19th century and the founder of the CMI congregation. For Chavara Public School, following the vision of CMI education, education is the integral formation of the human person for the fulfillment of his or her individual and social responsibilities. 
It is time to pay our homage as it has been done by Father Matthew to the fond memories of the great souls who left us. Reverend Father George Kuriwala CMI, the pioneering cause for the existence of Chavra Public School. Father Thomas Dambi Madam, the former manager. Professor K.J. Joseph, the PTA president of the initial years. Reverend Father Sajan Takemetipalli, former principal. Mr. A.K. Abraham, the first physical education teacher of Chavra Public School. Ms. Rosmo Michael, the first name enrolled in the list of the staff of Chavra School, who all contributed much in this great journey to the jubilant 24 years of exceptional growth. I do really thank and sincerely appreciate the vibrant and efficient leadership of Father Sabu Kodapath and his administrative team for making this jubilee celebration so eventful and very specially for inviting me to be a part of this great celebration. Hearty congratulations, dear Sabu and the team for all your efforts that make this day great and memorable. I wish and pray with all of you, may Chavra grow greater and greater heights, spreading its branches on which many more thousands of chirping birds come and find shelter and enjoy the fruits of fruits and formation through education. May God bless all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father, for those words of inspiration. Music is the literature of the heart. It commences where speech ends. To make this ceremony an unforgettable one, we have Master Sanjay V. Eisen on stage, a promising star with his solo.
mind blowing performance by his master Sanjay. The beauty of this ceremonious occasion is enhanced with the presence of Sri Mani Sikapan, the MLA of Pala constituency. He is the son of a former member of parliament, Sri Charyan J. Kapan. Sri Arif Muhammad Khanji, the Honorable Governor of Kerala, Principal Chavra Public School, Savu Kodapata, former Principal Father Matthew Kedithra, School Manager Father Bios Kutti Kadijara Kedija, former Founder of the School, Father Sebastian Ilenikel, Dr. Sheena, VTA Vice President, Master Sanjay V. Eisen, who has delivered a good song for all of us. First of all, let me thank the Chavara School Management, especially the principal and the manager, for having invited me to preside this August meeting of 25th year celebration, that is the Silver Jubilee celebration of Chavara School. Chavara School is a golden feather in the cap of Pala. Of course, Pala is an education hub with St. Thomas College, Alfonso College, St. Joseph College of Engineering, St. Joseph College of Catering, and so many other institutions, educational institutions are there. Chavara School has, not proven, has proven its excellence in the field of academy, not only in the field of academy, but also in the fields of sports and games and cultural activities. But sad to say, Governor G, that the CBSE and ICSE school students are not given permission to participate in the state level competitions conducted by the state government. It is a mere discrimination. I hope you will take up this matter. I will make it as a submission. Governor has, Governor he has got so many programs, so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to go for a long speech. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. But here there is a difference. Here there is a difference. People are more interested to hear your words. Honorable Governor, I would in the very corner of Kerala. I had got the opportunity to meet him once, and the person who introduced me, he said, No need for an introduction. I heard about his father, he was a freedom fighter, and you are a former international volleyball player, and I know Jimmy Jones. He knows every e sports and games and every matter here. But right now, we people are understanding the things slowly. That's what I feel. So anyway, with these few words, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Chava School stands proudly today, completing its 25 years with such an excellent performance in both curricular and co-curricular activities. On this auspicious occasion of our Silver Jubilee celebrations, we are truly privileged and honored to have with us Sri Arif Muhammad Khan, our Honorable Governor, who started his political career as a student leader. Our Honorable Governor has held several portfolios ranging from energy to civil aviation. With utmost respect, may I request our Honorable Governor to inaugurate the Silver Jubilee celebrations of Chavra Public School by lighting the lamp and also to speak a few words to the audience. So please. When I came here, I had no idea that I will be sitting with a star of the Malayalam cinema. <laughs> I 
and a future star who is sitting opposite me. Who oh, wish? I hope he will not be confined to Malayalam alone. Because what a wonderful rendering of the Hindi song. But at young age, I was a student of BA, first year, and I was denied gold medal because my teachers thought that it will go to my head and it will spoil me. So I, that is why I told you, we, we, all the blessings which we have, more blessings we have, more we need to be humble, to be kind, to be friendly, and to mix with everybody and care for everybody. Bahumane Pala Niyam Sabhangam Shri Mani Si Father Sabu Kudapattu CMI Postu Chandra Father Josh Kutti Pandim Yare Pidika Father Sebastian, Elenjikal CMI founder, <laughs> Father Matthew, Parikara CMI former, <laughs> Dr. Sheena Iskaria, PTA Vice President, <laughs> Piliya Adhyapakare, Vidyarthi, Vidyarthini Kale. Sahodri Sahodra Mare, Ella Varkum and Kevandanam. Pala Chavra Public School in Day, Rajata Jubli, Agosham, Udghatanam Cheyan Atiyaya Santosham Un. I, Sanyasa Samoha Tinde, Isthapakan, Vishuddha, Puriya Kos Elias, Chavra Achande, Pavana Ismaran Kyu Munnil, Sadar Pranamam. <laughs> Rajat Jubli Akosha Vela Yil, School Management Inum Adhyapakarkum Vidyati Kalkum Ende Asham Sakal I am absolutely delighted to be here with you. What a, what a wonderful opportunity to meet so many young, bright, girls and boys. I know that Pala is the land of churches which has also proved its preeminence in the field of education by establishing high rated institutions of learning as was mentioned by Honorable Member of the Assembly. In fact, I have been told that uh, the name of the town was earlier written as Palai in English. Uh, so, it is not, it is known not only for its very great educational institutions, but also for hard-working people who turned this difficult geographical terrain 
into fertile area through their hard work and industriousness. I was pleasantly surprised to know about the mention of Pala in the celebrated Sangam literature, especially Tolka Priyam. I am told that it had the concept of five landscapes. I Ayin Tina meaning five Tina land, five lands. Of these five types of land, Pala referred to dry land. However, as I said earlier, this dry land was converted into very fertile fields by the hard-working people of this area. I have heard people speaking of Palai paper being once quoted even in international markets. But the most notable achievement of Pala has been in the area of education and sports and I must say now fine arts also, acting and singing. I am happy that the Chavra Public School launched by the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate Congregation in 1998 has been making its valuable contribution to education scenario of Pala as well as of the entire state. The charisma that CMI Congregation enjoys in education is a legacy that dates back to venerated Saint Chavra, whose most voluntary contribution was taking up the education of the girl child as a mission of his life and devoting himself to attain this lofty goal despite severe opposition which he faced at that time. As Vicar General, he had instructed that each church, which is in Malayalam known as Palli, should have a school attached to it. Something which has added a new word to Malayalam dictionary, where the school is mentioned as Palli Kudam. The free noon meal, free noon meal in schools. The governments have introduced this scheme only a few decades back. But Saint Chavra introduced free noon meal in schools and also clothes for the children. Why? Because he was aware of the socio-economic conditions of the people whom, whose children he was aiming to educate. Saint Chavra's faith in the equality of human beings prevailed over the social order of his time. His work was a silent revolution that saw the victory of Vidya over societal ignorance. I understand that this school, which has the motto, aspire and achieve, works to provide a learning atmosphere conducive to the enhancement of the intellectual, emotional, social and spiritual intelligence of the students. For quite some time Kerala has been enjoying the stature of a leader in school education. We have very robust school system with the credit of having thousands of smart classrooms that utilize modern communication technology. 
I am sure that Chavra Public School, which is affiliated to the Central Board of Secondary Education, would also be making all efforts to ensure modern facilities, effective, effective teaching methods, and qualified trained teachers. I have few. The protocol requires that whenever I go to attend a function, I must have a written text with me. But I am going to ignore the rest of the text which I am carrying. And I would like so moved uh, to see this gathering. The warm, very warm welcome which you have given me. Gracious words which you have spoken. That I am moved to say something, uh, as they say, heart to heart. So first, let me extend you greetings for the coming Christmas and the New Year. Very happy. family, your friends, and very happy new year. First, I would like to say to the parents and the teachers, because teachers have been given a divine status in our tradition. They are our, if famous Alexander has said, my parents brought me to the earth, but my teachers took me to the skies. So I feel that life affords no greater opportunity and no greater privilege than raising of the next generation. And how the next generation should be raised? I feel that the famous, famous Lebanese American poet Khalil Gibran has put it in in most ringing words, he says, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, but they belong not to you. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. So, you may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. As parents, as our teachers, it is our duty to ensure that the real potential and the real knowledge which already... What is, what is education? manifestation of civilization and knowledge which already exists in every individual. Teacher helps to make that knowledge, innate knowledge, innate spirituality to manifest itself. And as far as the students are concerned, I would like to say to you that the Indian tradition says Shraddhavan Labhati Jnanam 
only those who are very sincere, very devoted, succeed in attaining knowledge and that knowledge must develop into wisdom, into discernment. Knowledge is not merely literacy. The real knowledge consists in your developing a capacity where you can make differentiation not only between black and white, but you can also have the cap capacity to make difference between various shades of black and white. Where you develop the ability to take decision, which is beneficial not only to you, but which is beneficial to the society at large. And have always had. As I said, Shirabdha. That sense of devotion, sincerity, respect. Because again the Indian tradition says, taking into consideration the human psychology, human nature, it says that Sarvatram Jayati Chet. The human beings have this natural inclination, they want to become victorious in every field they enter into. They want to possess every, gain control of, on everything they touch, they desire. Sarvatram Jayati Chet. Putrat Shishyat Ichet Parajayam. The human psychology is such that a person wants to gain victory everywhere. But there are two exceptions. And these two exceptions are your parents and your spiritual parents, that is your teachers. Who feel more happy if you are able to attain if success more than them. They relish your success. Enjoy your success. Drive pleasure out. Therefore, like parents, we are duty bound to have all respect for them. Similarly, we are duty bound. Not only duty bound, it serves our interest. More respect we will give to our teachers. More devoted we shall be to our teachers. More we will have the chance of attaining more and more knowledge. Which may develop into wisdom. And I am, I hope, and I am sure, and uh, I have been told that I have already taken 20 minutes. Therefore, I will not take more of your time. Uh, I will conclude with what Swami Vivekananda has said. He said that uh, generally we feel education. We will be in a position to get better sources of livelihood to live a happy life. But Swami Vivekananda says, the goal of life is not pursuit of happiness. Because if that is the goal of life, then what prevents me? In order to secure my happiness, if I make others unhappy, what prevents me from doing that? So goal of life is not pursuit of happiness. Goal of life is pursuit of knowledge. And then he says, what is the goal of the knowledge? If the goal of your life is pursuit of knowledge, then what is the goal of knowledge? Then he says, to be able to find 
unity in the midst of diversity. Even the children of the same parents, they have diverse attitudes, diverse tastes. Everybody is not. Nature abhors uniformity. If you and me think alike with no difference of opinion, then one of us is unnecessary. We can't learn anything from each other. We can learn only if we use our intellect, our mind, and we have opinion, then we must be civilized enough that after we reach a decision, whatever may be my opinion, but when a collective decision is taken, then I will sideline my opinion and I shall work wholeheartedly for the collective goal. So the goal of life, why he has said this? He has uh, before I go into that, I would like to remind what one of our former president has said. That is absolutely essential. He said if you want to live a civilized life, civilized existence, then it is absolutely necessary to cultivate the quality of compassion. Kindness. Don't be judgmental about anybody. Nature has shaped and fashioned everybody differently. If you feel somebody is wrong, don't sit in judgment, but by example, try to help. But that can be done not merely by preaching. That can be done only by example. Our Savior Lord has said, The Spirit of Lord is with me because He has anointed me to deal with the poor. Remember the importance. The purpose of ministry is to deal with the poor. And one who deals with the poor, who feels concern, not just concern, I will put it differently. Anybody who is less endowed than you, recognize that that person has a right over you. Maybe less endowed in any respect, in knowledge, in physical strength, in resources, in anything. Anybody who is less endowed is not to be looked down upon. I am my brother's keeper. I have to come forward to help him, not to sit in judgment about him. And uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita says it so beautifully. Yoma Pashyati Sarvatar Sarvam Chamai Pashyati. One who sees me in every being, that person actually has eyes. That person actually sees. Tasya Hamna Purnashami. The person who sees me in everyone, he is never separated from me. Sacha Mena Purnashati. Nor I am ever separated from him. We normally say that we do can't see God with our naked eyes. But here the scripture is telling us that that God, if we see him, that God in every being, particularly the poor, the less endowed, then that God is always with us and we are never separated from that God. That is it. I will conclude with that. There is a beautiful, beautiful anecdote in Semitic tradition, common to all three Semitic religions. 
we are on the day of judgment god will say it has been described in two different ways uh, one is that i was i was without food and you gave me food i was unwell you came to inquire about my health i was hungry you gave me water and the person will say god you are all powerful how can you be sick how can you be hungry how can you be thirsty no on such and such day somebody who was sick you went to inquire about his health i was there with him. therefore in him you saw me so and so came he was hungry you fed him i was there with him when you fed him i was there you you had seen me there i was someone was thirsty that is the real purpose of education education is not merely literacy or a gathering of facts a education means a heart which can feel the pain of the other which is ready to come forward and help anybody who is less endowed than that person himself i am so happy i am i am absolutely delighted to be here it is such a pleasure to be in fact in in, in a company like yours one gets refreshed i am feeling totally refreshed thank you very much valray nanni loka samasta sokina bhavatu jay hind Thank you.